yeah anyway podcast nerd so no, thank you i love it well you have a <laughs> podcast too i i listen to your podcast voices uh-huh. of, voices from gilgo thank you yeah that was fun um i mean not fun subject matter because it's like you know it's a true crime thing but um yeah a little bit of goosebumps yeah it's yeah. creepy um yeah. so when i was a, a journalist and i had my uh, i i covered the long island serial killer it was the only time i was threatened on the job actually that's not true i was threatened twice as a reporter and that was the second time so oh that but it's the most recent time but um yeah the long island serial killer is like near and dear to my heart or whatever it hasn't been found it they, they haven't been found or uh, at least publicly named and um it's kind of a pockmark on long island which is where i'm from um just because we have two um police uh departments here the nassau and the suffolk county police department and one county was in charge of it and they kind of bungled the whole thing and it's not totally their fault um but they didn't really do a good job with it um so when i did the podcast i just wanted something to sort of like test myself and maybe teach myself a little bit of audio editing at the same time and i just had stomach surgery i had weight loss surgery so i had some downtime from work and i wanted something to keep my brain occupied so i did a little uh podcast about the long island serial killer and um it was just, it was fun to do and fun to organize and put the website together and, and do the podcast and all this stuff. And from that, I've kind of, I've sort of turned it into like a lecture series that I do for different local libraries. There's always like a bunch of libraries here on Long Island that um, book me every year, like around the same, usually around summer um, is when they kick off like true crime spooky time, I guess. Um, but that's a lot of fun. So I get to do that and it, it helps keep the um, sort of the case fresh in people's minds because it's not something we hear about every day here, um, but it is an evergreen topic. Like it's something that people are always interested in um, just because it's like an unsolved thing, right? Like the yeah. Zodiac, yeah, like the Zodiac killer was never found and people still talk about the Zodiac and people, even though they caught Son of Sam, they still talk about Son of Sam. So it's like, you know, true crime is always exciting. Um, and I am working on a follow-up. I just don't know when I'm going to have time to produce a follow-up. So like, that's kind of where I am with that, but it was fun to do. And they're all short, super short bite-sized podcasts. And my audio levels are terrible in it just because like, I have no idea. I had no idea. I was on a Mac, which broke. So all those original files are gone. Oh no. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. It was like a fun process to like to learn it and stuff. So that was cool. Very cool. Yeah. So I was going to ask you because um, you had mentioned about doing a, a follow up. So I have I have two pages worth of notes here. Sweet. So this is background on Robert. I love that you have a, a the yellow legal pad. That's really something oh, I should start doing. It's my favorite. Um, and then I have spooky house horror <laughs> stuff. So this like I said, this is this is the background. So this is where I learned about you and your dad and the radio and all of that good stuff. Um, and then, um, so I was going to ask you, I actually do have a question and you answered it. I was going to ask you what's, you know, how you recorded the podcast, what you use, things like that. Mm-hmm. I noticed that you had music in there. Um, and, uh, and one thing that I did like that you would mention was, um, especially like that you talked about with your father was uh, marketing of oneself and self-promotion and this yeah. kind of led to the conversation that you and I were having in our DMs. And I'm like, I really <laughs> suck at this stuff. I'm like, I just, you know, I'm having fun yeah, doing this. And, and like I said, even though it's not a, a good topic, so to speak, it was still, you know, something of interest and, and it was a learning process. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what I think is, that's what it's about. Oh yeah. And, and the best thing about it, like if you're having a good time and you know, you're a very positive presence, like on social media and on the podcast. So like, when people see that, that's like all the best marketing that you could have, in my opinion. So like, you know, all the podcast, like I think about that, like all the podcasts I listen to are hosted by people that I would want to hang out with. And I feel that way about your show. I feel that way about the other shows I listen to. And like, 